Hi YouTubers, it's Janelle here and today's video is going to be on um, how I do my head wraps. I've had a couple of requests from um, individuals that follow my lock blog. I've got a couple of uh, pics posted of a head wrap that I wore to work one day and um, people were interested in knowing how I went about wrapping my locks. So um, hopefully this will be helpful to those that are curious about how I do this. By no means is this the only way to do a head wrap, but this is just the way I do my head wraps. Anyway, um, you can see my locks are loose here. I'm at the end of a um, set that I did about five days ago. And let's say this is a morning I'm running late for work. I don't have time to refresh the set or do much of anything uh, to get this looking a little bit okay so what I do I go to my fabric stash and I happen to have a fabric stash because I sew but I go to my fabric stash and I've chosen this piece of fabric I'll show the front side colorful but not too terribly wild for the environment I'm working in and I cut off a chunk of it um, about two yards this piece happens to be a little less than two yards. It was something that was given to me, but generally speaking, I use about two yards of fabric. I center it, the back of my head, and I start by um, pulling the fabric around and covering my ears, and I try to kind of take my locks up a little bit so that they will be up inside the fabric, and that will help to support the wrap later on. Um, as I as I twist the wrap up. Now I'm going to take the two ends of fabric that I have here. I'm going to pull them tightly around my head and as I pull the ends to the front I'm going to crisscross them. Being careful not to get my locks to pull on my locks inside the fabric. But I crisscross them. Now at this point I really can't see what I'm doing but I try to get the crisscross so that it's centered my forehead. Um, the reason I do this, um, you can cross it wherever you want, but I like it centered because I have a, a round face and when I center this high on my forehead it gives the illusion of a little more length to my face. Um, makes my face appear a bit more oval in shape. Okay, So I've crisscrossed that in front and I'm pulling that rather tightly because this is going to help secure the wrap for all day. I'm going to continue back around to the back and I take the ends of the wrap here one in either hand and as I'm uh, keeping the tension on the crisscross in front I'm going to take those ends and I'm going to knot them in a double knot in the back. I'll turn around in just a second. Okay. See, where I've started my knot here, I've got the ends in my hands. I've knotted it once. I'm going to knot this again. I'm pulling it tight, as tight as you can while still being comfortable around your head. You don't want it so tight that, um, you know, you start compressing the blood vessels in your head and give yourself a headache later on. So just keep that in mind when you are tying your wrap. Okay. The ends of the tie I'm going to tuck in. And it might make take you a minute or two to kind of work those ends in, but believe me, you can do it. And we're just going to tuck those in. Once you've gotten the ends tucked in, um, and this is actually kind of what you look like here, you've got fabric kind of flopped down in your face, but we are going to take care of that right now. Okay. We're going to take these fabric ends here, and we're just going to pull them up. Ta-da! Now you can see my face again. And as you pull up, you'll notice that you're going to get all these pleats and tucks of fabric. Okay. Those pleats and tucks of fabric are actually what you use to kind of, kind of um, shape and style your wrap. Okay. And now what I'm doing, I'm just just a couple of lock ends that um, 
kind of came out from underneath the fabric. I just tucked those in. And you'll notice that I've got my wrap covering my ear. I personally like my wraps to cover my ear. You don't have to do that. And I leave just my earlobe exposed. That way I can put my earrings in. And I always put my earrings in after I've done my wrap. That way I don't get the ear wires caught up in the fabric and either break my earring or what's even worse, um, get it so tangled up that I actually tear my ear. Now, you've got all of this here to play with to create your wrap shape. And the way you create your shape is really pretty simple. Um, you just take those folds and you pull and you push them. You lift and you um, press down until you get a shape that you like. Nothing really difficult about it. Just takes a couple of minutes to play around and see what you can come up with that you like. Okay. I've got some raw ends here that I'm going to tuck in once again at the back. And I've got a raw end here that I'll tuck in. I usually like to wear my wraps fairly high. Now this right here where it's kind of wide, um, if you were here and you were actually feeling that, you could feel the ends of my locks up under there. That's supporting the fabric. Okay, So that actually I can create this to be quite high because I've got my hair up under there that's supporting um, all of that height. Now my locks actually are not that long yet, but if I've got them bunched up under the fabric, which they are, you can see it's giving shape and support to the wrap itself. And then all of these raw edges, because as I said, this is just a piece of raw fabric. Um, it's not sewn. It's not, um, the edges are not finished. I just kind of tuck that in where I can. And sometimes, if I need to, I'll just kind of fold that in a little bit, tuck it under. And if it doesn't want to stay tucked by itself, since I sew, I have a whole lot of straight pins. <laughs> I can take a straight pin and just kind of pin that in place. Pin it where it will hold. Okay. And again, just taking my fingers, kind of manipulating the folds and the fabric, getting um, the shape where I want it, where I like it. And once it's done, there it is. Now if I want, I can push this back a little further on my head. Okay. Push the hairline back a little bit more, make it a little more even on each side. You know, if the cross isn't exactly where I want it, maybe I'll turn the head wrap a little bit, give it a little more dimension. But that, in a nutshell, is how you do it. And you notice I'm still kind of um, twisting and pulling a little bit and shaping. You just do it until you get it to where you want. And usually I can... I usually like my wraps to be symmetrical for everyday wear, meaning that um, the shape is fairly even on all sides. You know, but you can also create this so that um, maybe you've got your height starting here and then it's fanning over to the side that way. Um, you know, this is not a, a, a an extremely elaborate wrap. I have seen some that are extremely ornate very beautiful. Those I would reserve for special occasions. Okay, that end doesn't seem to want to stay, so I might put another pin right in there. Oops, too far. Stuck myself in the head. These are long quilters pins, so I really do have to be careful how how far I stick those in. I have been known to stick myself in the head. Okay, and there's the finished wrap. Quick and easy. Um, doesn't take a degree to do this. It's more just about um, how you play with it and manipulate it until you get it to where you like it. It's a very creative kind of thing. 
So I encourage you to um, go to your local fabric store, pick up some odd and end pieces, play with it. Um, I find cotton very easy to work with. You may want to choose something different. I would stay away from fabrics that um, like satins. They are very, they are slick. They are much harder to work with because they slip off of your hair. Would choose something that. Um, will grab your hair just a little bit. They will stay on a little better and they're actually a little easier to work with until you um, get comfortable with doing this. Anyway, I hope this answers the questions um, from Ms. Full Roller and Thandy. Um, I thank you for your questions. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope all of you enjoy it and I hope you have a blessed evening. I will talk to you later. Take care.